Welcome back, my lovelies. Um, this is gonna be my final one for today because this had to this is gonna be my seventh one in a row. I need a break. <laughs> um, I'm getting right into my zodiac readings, and I'm going with the almighty Libra. Mm, my candle is flaming like crazy. Okay. Spirit, what's in the general energy surrounding the Libra Collective? What these hoes got going on? What do you want them to know? Be aware of, Spirit. Spirit, what's in the general energy? This wants to come out. What's in the general energy surrounding the Libras? Mmm. Ooh! Ha <laughs> ha! Bitch! Ugh. Okay. Girl, <laughs> I'm smiling because my nigga Libra. <laughs> okay. Ooh, let me not. Okay. They don't know how I'm talking about. <laughs> Some people do. <laughs> I almost uh, told myself. Okay. How you doing? Number one, everything is fine. So this card is basically the Ten of Swords card. The everything is fine card usually means an ending to something. Like, there's going to be some new type of um, new way of life, a new journey. You about to embark on a new chapter in your life, okay? That's what this Everything Finest card is saying. The lovers. Child. Some of y'all might have a new lover coming through. Some of you who are single may not be single for long. <gasps> I'm sorry, I just have... Okay. <laughs> um, but new romance. I'm feeling... What's that shit... Um, but Hercules, oh, at least out loud, I won't say I'm in love. Okay, so <laughs> some of y'all just got some new, a potential lover coming through. Yes, God. Okay. Eight of Cups. Cha? Where the fuck are you going? This came out in another reading too, another Zodiac reading. But the Eight of Cups talks about going on a journey. And did I not just fucking say that? A spiritual journey, too. I'm feeling like some of y'all are going to are really find yourselves and really come into your own. Like, the per some of y'all, like, been thinking, like, well, we all been thinking, like, who we are, who we want to be, or where we want to be at in life. Some of y'all are, like, you're about to go get it. Like, bitch, you walking up the steps. Okay? Uh. Uh. Four of Pentacles. Mm. I'm getting stubborn. But some of y'all are holding on to ways or materials. This could be money, like material possessions. Or this could be like how you are like with people. Some of y'all are holding on to that and I'm feeling like you need to let it go. <laughs> I told my homegirl this in her fucking reading the other day and she gonna laugh. She like, bitch, you did fucking say that shit. Yes, the fuck I did, bitch. And I'm talking about you right now. What's up, little bitch? Um, but yeah, some of y'all need to let some shit go. You holding on to that shit. Look, her feet is rooted in it. She's holding on to it. This is a pentacle. The pentacle could be money um, for some of y'all, but for some of y'all, it's like value. Maybe how others see you as well. Maybe you're the type of person who cares about um, who cares about like what others think about them or how they per how they're perceived, especially in the public. Could be at work too. Spirit is saying, "Nigga, don't care about that shit." I forgot who said it. I think it was RuPaul. Ooh, not RuPaul. Tyler Perry, same shit. Um, they were like, "What other people think about you is not your business," and that shit is gold. Who gives a fuck what somebody else thinks about you? Fuck them. You living your life for who? You living it for them? Okay. Because I thought you, you was living your life. You know. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Child. Some of y'all are going to miss a very big opportunity. This could be about finances. It's about your career. This could be about a love interest. The Ace of Pentacles is about the, like, epitome of, like, opportunity grabbing it. Like, it's literally in, like, what you want is in your hands. But it's in rebirth. 
I'm getting some type of blockages. There's some blockages going on for why you can't get what you want. Once you release those blockages, then it's going to fall into your hand like that. Like that. And some of you are missing opportunities, especially with a loved one, because of how you are. Come through, spirit. But that shit just came to me right the fuck now. This is why I love doing tarot card reading. The ten of... Ooh! The ten of swords in reverse. Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting, like, wishy-washy. Because both of these cards, they mean the same thing. Same picture. But you got one upright and you got one in reverse. It's almost like I'm seeing two pillars, like two avenues. So you can go down this avenue or you can go down this avenue. Remember what I said about this one. When this is reverse, when this card is reverse, it means you stuck in the same old bullshit. All the stuff that bothers you, stabbing you, killing you. Killing me softly with his words. Okay? That means you're going to be stuck in the same shit. You don't have to be. I'm seeing two avenues here, but this is what's going on. What's on the bottom of my shit for my shit cut off? The Empress card. Some of y'all need to get in tune with y'all feminine emotions. Okay? Your divine feminine energy. Be in tune with that. See how you're really feeling. Okay? Meditate. Shit, nothing going on. 